Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you connect iCloud, your iPhone contacts, to Chime. You can create a two-way sync between these two apps, so anytime you add a contact to Chime, it automatically goes to your iPhone and updates the caller ID when somebody calls you. And anytime you add somebody, you save somebody to your phone, they can get synced right into Chime, so you can hop in there and follow up with them. It's gonna make you way more productive, and it's super easy to set up. Let me show you how. First thing you're gonna do is hop into API Nation. Go to apination.com and click on start syncing. There you're gonna see a ton of different apps, marketing apps, productivity apps, real estate apps that you can automate here, including if I scroll down to see, there is Chime. So if any of these other logos you see here look familiar, look like something you're using, go ahead and click through those as well and start automating some of that work. But let's focus on Chime right now. So I'm gonna click on Chime. And it's gonna take me to the automations available, the syncs available for Chime, including the sync from Chime to iCloud. So I'm gonna click on that. So you can see from Chime to iCloud, there's gonna be two syncs available. One that goes from Chime to iCloud, the other that goes from iCloud back to Chime. Let's start with Chime to iCloud. This will automatically update your phone with all the contacts from Chime. It's gonna make sure your caller ID is always updated. And the first step is to sign into our API Nation account. If you don't have one, you can click here to create one. Totally free to create, or you can sign in, or you can even sign in with your Google account, which is what I'm gonna do. Once you're signed in, you're gonna connect both of these apps. So let's connect Chime, very simple. Hit this button, you'll go to Chime and sign in and authorize the sync. Next, you're gonna connect to iCloud. I already have a connection available here, but to set one up, I would just hit the connect button there's these instructions here on how to connect it. Basically, you'll need your Apple ID. So I put my Apple ID in there. And then you're gonna need a password, but it's not a normal password. It's something called an app-specific password. And let me show you how to create that through the Apple website. So to get this password, you would go to appleid.apple.com. And don't worry, all the instructions are here if you click on this link on API Nation. There's also a video tutorial that shows you how to do this. But once you're on appleid.apple.com, you would sign in. Once you sign in, you're gonna see a page that looks like this. Sign in and security. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to app specific passwords. It might ask you for your normal iCloud password again. So I'm gonna put my iCloud password in. And then it's gonna allow me to create an app specific password. So I'm gonna call this one API Nation. That's where this password is going. So I hit create. It's gonna give me these numbers and letters, I guess just letters. And I'm gonna highlight them all, hit Control C or Command C to copy. Go back to API Nation and paste it in the password area. So that's your app specific password. You gotta go grab that from Apple. So I'm gonna hit connect and that's gonna make that connection. And then once you've connected iCloud, then that connection is just always gonna be available so you don't have to go back and create a new app specific password and go through this process every time you wanna set up an iCloud sync, just the first time. All right, so now we're gonna configure this sync. Just a, some filters are available here if you wanna filter exactly who's getting sent to your iPhone. You can filter by source, by groups in Chime, by the agent who is assigned to, or by tags. You can also choose to sync all available contacts from Chime and people you add in the future, just check that box. Or you can say, let's just add people who I add in the future. Uncheck the box. As they get added to your iPhone, you can choose if you wanna overwrite the contacts in your iPhone if they match. So if I have somebody in Chime who's also in my iPhone and it's syncing over, I can have the Chime contact information overwrite iCloud, leave the box unchecked. Or I can check the box and say, don't overwrite my iCloud go ahead and just fill in any blank fields you see. So I'm gonna do that and hit subscribe. That's gonna create the sync. The sync is not yet active. I wanna show you two more things. So we have all these filters available for you up here, but if that's not what you're looking to filter on, you can also use this multi-use filter tool to filter on something else. So maybe you only want people who are interested in buying a house or whose buying time frame is a specific value or only people who have an email or phone number you can filter based on any of the fields that we're getting from Chime. Tags, groups, lead status, source, any of them. You can also come on down here to mapping and the mapping has been 
greatly improved, especially with iCloud Syncs. We've added so many fields to our iCloud Sync. If you come on down here and look, you can now sync Chime information into name, nickname, job title, department, home email. We have all the emails here, all the phone numbers here. You can sync right into them and specify exactly where that information is going. URLs in case you have some information about you know their website you want to keep track of or their blog notes if you want to make some notes or sync something specific from Chime just into that notes field you can do that maybe I want to say hey what's their lead status I could do that I would just probably type a little thing that says lead status just so I remember exactly what that is this all looks good just I mean look at all the fields you can sync into now it's incredible uh, Let's go to the top and activate this sync. And I'm going to show you something else with that mapping with our with the next sync that I show you because it's 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 awesome as well. So this sync is now up and running. It's now sending contacts from Chime to iPhone. Now I'm going to show you how to send contacts from iPhone back to Chime and create that true two-way sync. I'm going to click on the Chime logo, which is like a shortcut to get back to all the Chime syncs. And then I'm going to choose iCloud again. There it is. And then this time we're gonna do iCloud to Chime. So this would be if you save a contact to your phone, it'll automatically get added to Chime. You don't have to copy paste, do anything like that. So I'm gonna activate. And we've already added both the connections to Chime and iCloud. So now we just have to select them here. So we're gonna select our iCloud connection. And then we're gonna select our Chime connection. Finally, again, we're gonna configure it. Do I wanna sync all available contacts or just contacts from now on? Do I want to override information? Do I want to assign it to a particular agent? Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit subscribe. This all looks good to me. And then here we're on the final setup for the sync. Again, you can set up a filter. Let me show you that thing in mapping I mentioned earlier. So you have all these names, last name, you have phone numbers and birthdays. So Chime has this phone field. Basic just says phone. And right now we're syncing mobile phone into that phone field. But maybe you forgot when you added your contacts to your iPhone, to your iCloud, maybe you didn't add all the phone numbers under mobile phone. Sometimes you add them under home phone or sometimes you add them under work phone or something else. So, you know, if you're like me, you just save the phone number and sometimes you forget, is it a home phone? Are my saving all my contacts under work phones? What's going on? So in order to make sure you're getting a phone number in there, I would have you, I would suggest you just add all your phone numbers Let's do mobile phone, home phone, work phone, maybe even iPhone, sure. Let's do it. And then you're gonna use this tool, this is important, make sure to use this tool, hit this gear, and choose fields priority. And that's gonna say, all right, if there's a mobile phone, if there's a number in the mobile phone space, use it. If there's not, use the home phone number. If there's not a number in either of these two, use the work phone, and if there's not anything in the three, use the iPhone. So. It's a good way to make sure you're getting one of the phone numbers into Chime. And you can do the same thing with email. So if I go up here to email, I'll hit plus, add all the emails, home email, work email, other email, school email, etc. Do the fields priority again. I'm gonna go ahead and do work over other. That looks good. And now we are ready to go. Come on down here. All this stuff looks good. If you wanted to type something specific in here, maybe you want to tag people, come down here and put in a tag, iPhone, I could do that. This looks good. I'm gonna to go to the top and activate this sync. So there it is. We've set up a two-way sync. If I go over here to my syncs, you'll now see I have one going from Chime to iCloud, updating my caller ID, and another going from iCloud to Chime. Any of the contacts I save while I'm out and about will automatically get added to my CRM for follow-up. That's it, that's how you sync iCloud to Chime. It's gonna make you way more productive. Your contacts are always where you need them to be. They're always updated. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to update anything. The sync is gonna fire every 15 minutes or so to send those contacts back and forth without you doing anything. That way you can focus on working with people and creating more deals. If you have any questions or need any assistance setting up this sync, Give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation, and we're connecting the world's applications.